Welcome back to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the best accessories for the all-new 2021 iPad Mini 6th generation. I posted the unboxing of the all-new iPad earlier on my channel. If you haven't already, definitely check it out. For this year, the 2021 iPad Mini has gotten a complete redesign. With that being said, all the accessories and everything that came from previous models will not work with the newer iPad, so I went ahead and made a list of the best accessories to get the most out of the iPad for art, note-taking, gaming, and everywhere in between. So first on the list is going to be the Lamical desktop stand. So this is an adjustable stand, and I like that it's up off of the actual table, so it gives you a little bit more height. And it's super adjustable, very stable for its small size. I've actually been using this for the past year on my iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and it is just big enough for that, definitely big enough for the iPad mini. I really like the simple design of the stand and the fact that you can easily adjust it and it stays in place without using any tools. Up next on the list is gonna be the Apple Pencil 2. With the all new redesign of the iPad mini, the Apple Pencil 2 is now compatible. So with the Apple Pencil 2, you're gonna be able to magnetically attach it to the side of the iPad and charge it as well as pair it that way. It also, if you have any of the drawing apps that have pressure sensitive brushes, it's gonna unlock that ability. As an artist myself, I would put the Apple Pencil 2 on the top of the list as far as accessories goes. And it's also great for students or anybody who's planning on taking a lot of notes with the iPad mini. With this year's remodel, there were a lot of great features that were added to the iPad mini. However, just like many of the other iPads and iPhones, this time around the headphone jack was not included. So looking at the all new redesigned iPad mini, they have simplified it in a lot of ways. There's just going to be a touch ID, volume control, and then a USB-C port. So if you do plan on using headphones that are not wireless or AirPods, you're going to need a USB-C to headphone jack adapter. And all you need to do is plug it into the USB-C and then into your headphones and you're good to go. The next accessory that I highly recommend for artists as well as note takers is going to be the paper-like screen protector. So I've already done a full user review of the paper-like on my channel and I would highly recommend checking that video out before purchasing it to make sure that it is right for you. That being said, the Paperlike is one of the best in class. It's gonna give you added control as well as a paper-like feel, and it does all of this with the least amount of image distortion of the matte screen protectors available. That being said, when I purchased my iPad mini, the Paperlike was still a pre-order for the new year's model. So I went ahead and ordered another screen protector that is a paper feel matte screen protector and I will be doing a full user review of that once I install it and I have a little bit of time to test it out. With the sleek and portable design of the iPad mini, you will definitely want a case for it to protect it on the go. Apple, of course, offers their smart folio line. These are great cases, super sleek, well-designed. They come in a handful of different colors. That being said, they're pretty pricey at $60. And I did find a few other cases that I actually like a little bit more just because they offer a little bit more protection for the Apple Pencil when you have it on the go. First up on the list is going to be the Soki Smart Case. This case is going to be pretty similar to the Apple Smart Folio, other than the fact that it does not magnetically attach to the iPad itself. Instead, it, the iPad actually goes inside of the back piece. And then you do have the cover. It's a trifold that also doubles as a stand. It does have a little bit added edge protection, and it does have little bumps that kind of give you a little bit of protection for the Apple Pencil. If you are looking for something a little bit more durable or to, on the go, the next case that I recommend is going to be from DTTO. This one is going to be a little bit more durable. It's got full edge protection. It also has a slot for the Apple Pencil. And then on top of it, it also has this really cool design that is like a triangular folding design that allows you to use the iPad in different viewing angles as well as draw on it and everything else. Another really nice case, and this is also another really great budget option. I was really surprised to find this case for under $20 with such a unique design. This is the case that I ordered for my personal iPad mini, and I'll be testing it out and doing a full review on the channel as soon as I get it in and get a chance to try it out. Another great budget option for a case is going to be the Soki Shockproof Folio with the added pencil slot. So this is going to be similar to the DTTO and the Folio case from Apple. It's got a cover that also doubles as a stand, a little bit different design. 
And the last case that I recommend is the Z to top. This is really similar to the last Soki case and the folio combined. The only difference is gonna be the actual case on this one is a little bit more similar to the folio with the trifold, but it also doubles as a stand. And you also have that slot for the Apple Pencil. Another great option for under $20. So the last accessory on the list, but definitely not the least important, is going to be a controller for gaming. The newer iPads as well as the iPad mini have support for controllers, including the PlayStation 4 as well as the Xbox One controllers. Keep in mind that not all Xbox and PlayStation controllers will work. You will need to get one that is compatible with iOS with the Bluetooth option. So with that in mind, there are a lot of options out there from Xbox and PlayStation, a bunch of different colors. There are a lot of great games already available in the App Store and a lot more coming with that controller support. So definitely a great idea to get one of these to unlock the full gaming capabilities of the iPad mini. And that wraps up my list of best accessories for the all new 2021 iPad mini sixth generation. If you do have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Put links to all the products in this video in the video description. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications for when I post my newest videos. And until next time, peace.